All right, here's part two of our garden update. Now, we had a little break in the rain, so that's why I'm out here kind of taking a look at stuff, see what's happening. Um, here's one thing that is doing fairly well, and it looks like it's tipping over a little bit. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, they're heavy with uh, a little rain that uh, started to rain here. This is my hydroponic lettuce, and the leaves just got so heavy with the rain, they're tipping over here. Um, but they're doing well as well as some of these other plants. This lettuce here, this kind of like a bib type lettuce. I tell you, um, I had to refill the tote with more um, fertilizer solution because it drank it all up. But this lettuce, we've been eating on this for two weeks and we cut some leaves and then the thing grows back. What a great successful experiment this has been for us. I really want to do more of this type of gardening by putting in the fertilizer solution use the cups and just have it grow there in the water really really successful the only problem is is that once it gets hot you can't grow lettuce and stuff like that because it'll bolt so i probably only can do this for just a little bit uh, longer even if i put it in the shade it's still the ambient temperature is going to be pretty hot um here's some things that i started from seed that i want to put down here's some cardoons I also bought some um, art, um, artichoke plants. They make a really decorative flower, even if you don't want to eat the artichoke. Let it go to flower. They bring in the bees and everything. It's really decorative. Um, I got some hibiscus starting. Those seeds, I got tons of seeds from last year, the pods, but they don't all germinate. And I don't know if it's just cooler temperatures they don't like to germinate or what, but I'm having to put way more seeds into these containers than what's uh, successfully germinating. Uh, a couple more cucumbers, different varieties here, as well as some ground cherries that I'm uh, hoping to put in uh, a more permanent place. And then two of the gooseberries that I got from uh, Stark Brothers. I order most of my big plants from Stark Brothers. I love them. They're great. Uh, you might want to look into Stark Brothers. Uh, but anyways, I will find a permanent home for those guys. It's also a sunflower, giant sunflower plant there too. Uh, so let's turn our attention to this side of the garden, right? So here are some trees that I bought uh, and planted them up in these nice 20 gallons. I probably didn't have to start them this big of a container, but I'm just kind of being consistent with my other plants. Uh, so what we got here is I have a second mulberry plant tree that I put in container, uh, one in the ground, and this new guy in the container, and you can see it's already starting to bud. I planted it right away. So that's nice to see here. Uh, see if that focuses up on it. So that's good. Uh, this one is a nectarine. It's a Durban nectarine. It was at my local nursery and it had all these little nectarines on it. So it's like, all right, let's take you home and put you in the ground. Uh, and then this one, it, doesn't, it has one little fruit on it uh, so far. I don't know if I'm going to get fruit on it this very first year. But it's uh, what they call a um, pluot, which is half apricot, half plum. And I got him in there in a nice container. Uh, these are my existing plants from last year, the olive tree. Uh, never had any olives on it, but it's an olive tree. Uh, then I have the uh, Mexican lime, the two Meyer lemon trees there from last year. And they seem to survive the winter too. Uh, they did good, lots of new growth here, um, lots of new leaves, and even a little flower over on this guy here. So yeah, in North Texas here, we can't keep these out. Uh, they will freeze and they'll they'll die. So we have to bring the citrus in the garage if we expect it to survive. So that's what I did and it survived. Now over on this side here, um, we have an apricot tree that I put in the ground last year that came back up successfully here. So we're happy to see that apricot tree going. And then here is um, Peter Stanley, who has a YouTube channel, and he does a lot of peppers. It has this kind of hybrid system you've seen me do before I talked about. It's basically got perlite down at the bottom inch or two uh, that collects the water, but then the rest is dirt and, and you know, good, good soil. And these are uh, habanero and some ghost peppers and Carolina reapers and some eggplant. So I dropped these in these buckets and just to do uh, a little test here on that um, and they seem to be growing well too. I probably got to trim them a little bit because they're really doing super well. Uh, but yeah, so you might want to try a few containers too. These are nothing but Home Depot buckets and they grow well in there as you can see. This guy's another little persimmon. When I ordered my persimmon from Stark Brothers, unfortunately it came and the... Um, 
stem was broken on the guy and it's like oh well and i called stark brothers and they sent me a new one right away which was great that's great customer service but this guy's like well i'll stick it in a pot maybe it might still grow i don't know and lo and behold it did even with that broken stem uh this guy uh, overwintered in this little yucky pot i just put him in there because i didn't know if he was going to survive and he is so i'll probably transplant him to something nicer uh probably at the end of the season but he's growing, and so that's nice to see. Um, so here again are the different peppers, and you can see they're doing well. Um, these peppers that look like just sticks here, um, they are overwintered from last year. And I wanted to see if I could do that, because I have done it in the past. And the leaves are coming back, so that's nice to see. Um, over on this side here, uh, we put in tomatoes early, folks. We kind of like... Uh, Towards the middle end of March, we put them right in. Still a little cool, but they survived the cool, and they got even flowers on it at this early stage, and they look like they're doing good. And these here are some eggplant that I picked up, uh, some white eggplant at the local nursery that uh, focuses on uh, Asian and Vietnamese plants. So we kind of got a cool uh, uh, nursery here, Dones in Irving, Texas. You can go there and find some of these unique uh, plants and of course mr. fig tree over here this is uh, in a container I'm probably gonna put him in the ground I have fig trees at another location that are a couple years old and gosh they're just so good uh, and they they handle the winters and just come right back so it's nice that in the container here he's doing good uh, and you know I might put him out over here now that I got more growing area you know there's more stuff I can do so okay so that's this side of the garden folks let me uh, give you an update number three with the other part of the garden tour.